Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Infinite Art Museum VR. Infinite Art Museum VR is a free-to-play app on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive. However, it does work perfectly fine on the Oculus Rift with touch controllers. Um, this is basically an art exhibit for VR. Um, I didn't recognize any of the artists. I'm not sure if any of them are, are well known. I'm not an art critic myself, so I cannot really comment on the quality of the art. Uh, but this is a, a, a nice uh, VR gallery, art gallery. Uh, it's not the best one I've seen. It's not even the best free one I've seen, but it's it, it's not bad. Uh, my main criticism of the app is the lighting. I wish they didn't have the lighting system they had on here. Basically, you're supposed to manually fix the lights. So, uh, for example, this one is dark, right? So what you're supposed to do, and by the way, I'm playing seated because uh, I prefer to play seated. <laughs> if you want to be able to see correctly, you move the light towards there. So that's how you fix the light. You can also move colored lights this one I don't believe has one but uh, the other levels do so there's basically five different levels and more coming soon apparently you can either teleport around and then you can snap turn by pressing the Y or B and and if you press grip and you move your controllers you can actually move also so it does have arm swing as a locomotion but you can also just teleport by clicking on your joystick let's go ahead and head off to level one the way that you do that is that you grab the blue cube with trigger and then just throw it break it and you'll start off with level one loads up now it does start off dark so what you're seeing here is totally natural and when you get closer the light will turn on so there we go so you can see the lights are slowly turning on. Again, I don't like that. I wish the lights were just on and it had perfect gallery lighting. I don't know of a single gallery where they mess with the lights like this. So I think it's an odd, odd thing about this app. I, I don't like it. I kind of wish they just uh, fixed the lighting for everything versus making you manually have to uh, do this because I think it's too dark. Right here, around right here, I guess. There we go. Uh, there's different artists. Uh, this is Tim Robinson. Um, I don't I've never again never heard of this person. And you can read here: Tim Robinson, creator, destroyer, alien. Tim Robinson is an American book page artist. Okay. Uh, there are some. There is some artists that I really like their their art. And. Uh, there was also some artists whose art I didn't really understand. So uh, there is music in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. This is, by the way, uh, Katarina Meglik. Sorry. I'm not going to highlight every artist. <laughs> this is... Uh, wow, I can't even read. That's too dark. Romer... Kitchen, English painter. This is a really good portrait here. Okay. Uh, Frank Loria. Oh, I really like the, uh, the colors used here. It almost looks like a painting uh, with the, or like a photo, I mean, with the contrast colors, with the color switched up. Uh, is this a... Uh... Okay. My paintings have become essential. My feelings are those trade creep pieces. Love for just putting my feelings to canvas. Oh, these are... Oh, these are... Um, these are actually amazing paintings right here, in my in my opinion. <laughs> but it says mixed media, so I'm... I'm, uh, I'm not sure exactly how these were created. And the reason I say they're, they're awesome is because they look like... They actually look like photos, like black and white photos, but it says mixed media, so I'm not sure how they're created, but it's a painting and drawing, so if this is just pure painting and drawings and, and not a photo, that's it's amazing. 
wow uh, just using black and white and be able to create this it's it's wow I would like to have this one on a t-shirt <laughs> And this one's also amazing the way they were able to uh, interchange colors. I might also want that one on the t-shirt too. Uh, okay, so the way that you go on to the next level is you look for the blue cube. This is tree rag pratful. Sorry, yeah. I don't want to seem like I'm not uh, paying attention to some artists and to others I'm not. I'm just really using random. I can't, unfortunately I can't focus on every artist. I don't want to make this a long video. So click on the blue cube and now we'll go to the second level. I'm not going to do all the levels. I think we'll go all, all the way to level three. Actually, there's one artist that I want to highlight. So I hope we get to that artist. This is a Brett Polanski. And as you can see, the, the lights take a while to, so I'm not going to spend too much time with Brett Polanski, unfortunately. This is Muniz Warren. This is Jay Saxton. And Dinesh RM. And they do tell you, like some of them do tell you their life story. Like, I think it said Dinesh was a banker, if I remember correctly. Ivan Baljaniskov. And it might say something about Ivan over here. This is, I love my life and I love art. Okay, sorry, that's too hard to read again. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's too dark in some areas. So let's go ahead and click on the blue cube because there's one artist that I want to highlight because I really like their, their artwork. And again, uh, I if you're interested in art and want to see art in VR, Definitely recommend you you try this app. Although, okay, this is uh, the artist I wanted to highlight was Kyle Tristan Completo. He's an artist from the Philippines, and I really hate this lighting system. Okay, it's too dark, so I'm gonna steal a light from the art other artist. Sorry, Abstract Chair, or actually, sorry, Arunavan. Oh, actually, I like Arunavan too, so I don't want to steal from them. I'm gonna have to steal from Gabrielle War. Sorry, Gabrielle War. Nothing against you. Okay, so I'm gonna steal a light and put it right here. And steal another light. <laughs> well, where where is that light? I thought I saw one near near here. Oh there it is. They shouldn't make you do this. This is just wrong. But I want to highlight Mr. Completo. Uh, okay. No, you know what? It's still too dark. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something I don't want to do, which is completely take the light from this side. <laughs> okay. So it says, "Hi, I'm Kyle, an artist from the Philippines, and I love to paint anything that interests me. My approach to painting is to be myself always, but I have lots of inspirations. I use them to make my own style of painting." Some of my paintings aren't perfect or realistic compared to others because I believe you can also find beauty in imperfection. And that's certainly true. These are not the most realistic paintings, but I especially love this one, uh, I You Gaze, which I'm not sure if a real person modeled for him or not, but I, I just love the use of light and shadow for this, the way the light cuts across uh, her body and the pose, the thoughtful pose she has, and just the very beautiful subject um, this is something that I would actually uh, love to have in my in my room actually very beautiful painting uh, I really like it um, I also like this one the uh, ponytail one um, Let me highlight also uh, Arnovin, but again, we're gonna have to steal some light. Sorry, Simone Silva, nothing against you again. I just really don't like that this uh, app makes you do this. Okay, you know what? 
And I'm not sure that's enough. Uh, yeah, I might have to steal another light. Okay, all right. Sorry about that, guys. You see the, the problem with this app? <laughs> so, Ar Arnuv Arunuvan? Hi, I am Renuvan from Chinatali, Tamil Nadu, India. I'm an artist with 13 years of experience and possess a strong sense of artistry. I was fascinated by paintings and drawings right from my childhood, which further developed when I opted for my higher studies at Chennai Fine Arts College. After completing my degree, I delved even further into my artistic practice, which involved my interest in typical South Indian painting. I felt a close collaboration between me and South Indian art and cherished its connections its connection with me. Uh, probably my favorite is this one, South Indian Kid Oil on Canvas. I just, again, not the most realistic one, but I, it was just so joyful and so bright. And I don't know, it just stands out to me. I also like the monk style kids work oil on canvas. I really like the way the, the light protrudes. Uh, I guess it's from the ceiling while they're reading something. And uh, even this Ganesha, <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. Um, as well as this realistic work. Um, about the only one I don't, didn't like from him was this one. And uh, it just looks a little different than the rest. I'm not sure why. This looks more like impressionistic than the, than the rest, which look very bright. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. Um, I do recommend this app. I'm gonna put a link on my video where you can download this app. Uh, there's also one called Fine Art Museum VR. Uh, I believe that's the name of it. Uh, and I have some classical, uh, classic paintings. Um, I also have uh, this app that features the Dutch Masters, uh, which is a paid app, which I'll feature in a upcoming review. But yeah, I do recommend this if you have any interest in art and uh, if you don't have an interest in art, though, you probably won't enjoy it because it's basically what it is. It's viewing art in, in virtual reality. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Birth Reviews. Thank you for watching. I'll put a link in my video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.